Hey guys, Nathan Walters here. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at some basic masking techniques. Alright, now these clips come from a project I worked on called Gateway. Right here we have a title I made and then we have a TV. So you just drag that to the new comp and then you can drag the title down as you can see. And um, just drag that to the second layer. And then we're going to want to begin masking. So click the pen tool and then just draw your cutout around whatever you want to mask. Here we're doing the TV, very common effect. Alright, there we go. Now hit MM on the keyboard, it'll bring down the mask properties. You want to move it to subtract, add whatever's inside the mask will be selected, subtract whatever is inside will go away. Alright, as you can see, the mask is not covering the entire screen. And we can easily fix that if you check mass expansion. We can change it to one, two pixels seems to do the trick. All right, next you just want to adjust the size of it to make sure it fits in the TV. If you hold the shift key, it'll keep in proportion. So be sure to do that. And hit R on the keyboard, we'll bring up the rotation. You can just turn it until it fits the uh, rotation. Place it in there. That looks okay. But um, if you notice, the reflection does not match up the screen. I mean, you got blues, a blue reflection with the orange screen, not going to work for me. So we want to make sure we sell this fully. So we're just going to go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, and then um, draw around the reflection masking. If you hold it, then it'll make a bezier curve so you can have round edges. You just try to draw the best around you can. Pick out the blue spots and um, just do that. Maybe up there in the top. Alright, I would say that that would be good enough for what we're doing. So now you want to make sure the orange, you want to turn the blue reflection into an orange. So we're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. And then you simply want to go to the channel and then you want to adjust it. So first we'll do the red channel and we'll boost up the reds to get the fiery feeling. And that's good. Obviously it needs to work. So we'll go to the blue channel. If you move the curve down, you'll get more of that yellow, and it'll mix with the red and make an orange look. And that looks pretty good right there. I think it's a pretty good job. Um, you do want to feather it. Make sure it's not so sharp. Otherwise, it won't look good at all. Um, somewhere between 20 and 30 pixels usually works good, but it will depend on your project. Right now, we don't have much lighting around the TV, so it works for me. Okay. Um, now, if you take that away, I might want to make that smaller. Okay. Um, we're still getting a little bit of blue in there, and we want to fix that, so we're probably going to go back to the curves, and we'll just make it even stronger. So, yeah, go up to the red channel, boost that up, and that looks pretty good, but now the reflection is almost way too much, I mean what TV reflects that much. So we'll go up to the, out, the RGB and you can adjust the overall brightness. So you lower that and it'll darken it, taking away a great deal of the uh, reflection. And I would say, uh, maybe a little more. Uh, there we go. Alright, well that's it. Here's the result. Thank you for watching.